Hello guys. So today we will be doing independent sample t test. Now this test can be carried out with the help of Likert scale variables and one particular nominal scale variable which has been recorded for this particular test. Now the way I have recorded this particular variable is the original age scale variable has been recorded into 1 and 2 being the younger category and 3 and 4 being the older category. You can see my older variable to know how exactly variables are recorded. Now to carry on the independent sample t-test, we will first go to analyze, compare means, independent sample t-test. Over here, first we will transfer the Likert scale variables on the test variable page, like this. And then the recorded variable will be transferred into the grouping variable page. Once you've done that, go to define groups and specify the values which are being guided on the test. So since there are only two values, that is younger and the older one. So these are the only those are the ones I've entered over here. Continue and press OK. Now as you can see we've got two tables, group statistics and independent sample test. Now under independent sample test, again two tests are carried out. First one is Levin's test and the second is T test. So first we'll refer to the Levin's test to check whether we are to check the significance level and also see whether we are rejecting or not accepting the null hypothesis. So in case we are not rejecting the null hypothesis, we'll assume the value for a significance two tail as equal variance as equal variance assumed, which is this value. And in case we were rejecting the null hypothesis, we'll take the lower value which was equal variance is not assumed. Now as you can see at variable 12f we are rejecting a null hypothesis as well as we are rejecting the null hypothesis here as well which is why we will go back to group statistics table and check how much difference there is in the mean of our two respondents categories. So first as you can see that younger category is at 3.27 and the older category is at 2. If you would have referred to my older videos you would have known that any value greater than 3 is strongly disagree and any value less than 3 is strongly agree. So right now as we can conclude that younger respondents do not agree to the fact that paper bag is a useful substitute for plastic bag and whereas older respondents do agree to it. So based on our research assuming that we want to encourage people to use plastic bag we can say that younger people gave out a favorable response as compared to the older respondents. That's it from my end. And thank you guys for watching.